Hi, and welcome to this midweek devotional. Um, a, a couple of questions that I thought would be good to ask as I lead into this. The first question is, what if our whole life was oriented towards generosity? And then the second question, what, what sort of difference would that make to our world? One of the things that I've been thinking about this week is, is about the cross that Jesus offered his life up on and challenged to make the cross the centre of life. Um, it got me to consider what, what, what does the cross really mean to me? And beyond the obvious logical statements um, about being in an atonement and you know, sacrifice for my sins, some misty-eyed hymn that we sing, uh, it took me to a place where I had to just consider my own sinfulness. And as I consider that sinfulness, it, it becomes a very meaningful place for me to visit also, the cross. There is this sense that there was a certain price paid so that I could be relieved of the burden of my own sinfulness. And to be honest, you know, there's a lot of times where I don't consider my sinfulness. Um, my life is consumed by the worries of this world, um, the, the things that occupy so much of our, our lives, you know, making sure we've got food on the table and you know, stuff going wrong and people getting sick and um, paying the bills, all those sorts of details. Uh, often um, they're things that consume my thoughts during the day and I forget that perhaps one of the most important statements about me is the fact that God considers my sinfulness and he leads me to the cross as a way of resolving sinfulness. I thought this week about how the cross can really express something really positive that happens in our life as we um, allow God's generosity to flow into our lives. Because when we look at the God that we love in the Christian world, um, it's totally okay towards generosity. God's love is a is a really generous love. It's an abundant love. It flows and continues to flow. It forgives and continues to forgive. It invites and it continues to invite. And um, throughout the Old Testament, we see that happening again and again as the life of Israel as a as a nation. Um, intertwines with God's um, requirement for obedience. And we see how that invitation, that forgiveness, that generosity um, flows again and again and again. And then for me personally, I consider generosity of the cross. I realize that it's probably part of that. First of all, um, they are our hearts to be broken open. And there's an element of pain as we consider that the cross is all about death. And even worse than that, um, it's it's all about an undeserved death. It was an unjust death that, that led Jesus to give up his life of unjust in, in, in And then secondly, it was poured out. And I think you can see how the life of Jesus was poured out we can consider once again that of a just God. God, God allowed his, his son to be his life to put out to be given as a thing as a ransom and we are the those Jesus is very Old gift time. This and the restaurant. 
right well it's not given to the spirit of his own, own ends it's given to being obedient to his there's a verse that talks about Jesus at times was in that the sick and um, people at times overwhelming him with their demands See that at every time the kingdom of arriving in him and, and that generous life is ordered bringing of that in the world. In the story of Mary and Martha, we are reminded of the need for simplicity, focus. Martha is looking around and says, hey, you know, some people here are not quite measuring up. I should be more active. There's one thing that's worth being concerned about. And as we discovered it, taken away from it. That's a ring moment. Mars is busy with all our activity and Jesus brings the focus to what, what's really needed at the, the time. And he said this. She's doing what's most needed. What is most needed. And, and that's to worship Jesus. Again, again, invite us to focus on what's important. It's about being with the generous God. It's about doing what is needful at this time. It's about, about purposeful when we choose to do what we just say you no. Know. And there's a question there. What is the act of generosity that Jesus is calling us to today? And that's a message for each one of us. We are born into abundance, material abundance, anyhow. We need to ask us some very important questions about what we do. That are, with the gifts that are given, are we united? Generosity. Are we focused on need, needful? Is what we mean coming from generous spirit? And most important, is Jesus at the center? Exactly.